Standing in the sun Celtic seven man Rangers won All my days I will sing in praise Of the Celtic team that play that day Sammy Wilson put Celtic one up In the final of the Scottish League Cup And it was only Neely Mohan's due When he nipped in and he made it too in the sun Celtic seven and Rangers won All my days I will sing in praise Of the Celtic team that played that day Jordy Nevin was all at sea He couldn't stop McVale from making it three And then young Billy sure he made it four And Celtic were heading for a record score Celtic team that played that day. Jordy Nevin with the desperate dive. He couldn't stop a Morgan from making it five. And then young Billy with a superb flick. Sure, he completed a great hat trick. Oh, I'm there in the sun. Celtic seven and Rangers won. Of the Celtic team that played that day Then just to make the Rangers sick Fairly made it seven with a penalty kick And Charlie totally sure he's on the ball He's taking the rise out of Ian McCall Oh, I'm there in the sun Celtic seven and Rangers won I will sing in praise of the Celtic team that play that day. Oh, I'm there in the sun, Celtic seven and Rangers one. All my days I will sing in praise of the Celtic team that play that day. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Smell the Glove. Now, let's see, we're listening to Smell the Glove today, uh, streets ahead after a great, great, great Sunday, in which uh, my kickoff time was uh, a, 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 a sweet early, early 6 a.m., and with me today, Rev, talk to me, Goose, how you doing? Hail, hail, how you doing? Hail, Happy hail. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. Happy birthday to me. Thank you so much. Um... What was going to ask you? I was going to ask you uh, did, what t- kickoff time on the East Coast was uh, seven for you? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. You, I assume you were up and ready to go for that one. I was up. Uh, I did. I made it. Uh, set you know the alarms at like six fifty eight, six fifty nine, <laughs> seven o'clock. <laughs> I mean, did like a like a seven and ten just in case. Like just I got up and then case. I fell asleep a couple minutes after. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> have, you, have you ever done that it's like you wake up for a game you're like okay good i'm up and then just you fall asleep and you're like ah oh, shit and then you you totally miss the game like that's happened so i a game I that extra like do i do that yeah. for i do that i do that at least once a week for for 6 a.m flights <laughs> <laughs> seriously seriously that's it i listen i mean i we have it. I mean, to be up at six or seven or ten, you know, six. I was in Iowa, so it was it was six a.m. In, in, in Central Time, you know, seven a.m. or eight o'clock or nine o'clock or ten o'clock in the morning. You have your whole day. It, it's not a bad thing. The 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 people I feel sorry for. I mean, you know, like Colonial in New Zealand. Oh right. You know what I mean. Kickoff is like two a.m. Yeah. Sometimes it, it's. No, I, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, that's well, that's that's. I mean, it's it's bad enough for us. It's crazy. It's absolutely just batshit crazy for them. But um, yeah, I mean, getting up early. I'm sucks. more of a night person, person. So it's like I can do like a twelve, one o'clock, even two a.m. Like it's kind of pushing it. But I could do that if it's like a four, five a.m. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that'd be. Yeah, it's tough. I was I w- I remember the first time I was over in Scotland for um, 
uh, first time I was over in Scotland, period. Uh, I was there for New Year's. And, you know, the, uh, the bowl games are on. And you're trying to watch, you know, the South Carolina played, uh, played Florida State in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, which we call in the, um, in the, uh, Chick fil A bowl. You know, that's New Year's Eve night. It starts at seven o'clock. Right. You know, it goes off at 11. They, they put the shows on, blah, 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 the whole thing. I'll tell you what, man. It was, it was, you know, midnight kickoff. We're drinking everything else. Next thing I know, it's like the game's, the game's on at like two, two fifty. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't imagine West Coast, imagine West Coast games, eight o'clock West Coast games. Right. Oh, forget it. No, thanks. No, thanks. That's just like, okay. It's, and I don't know, I don't know who the hell, and by the way, I, I, see, I see it when I'm over there, but, and, and sometimes when I'm watching a dodgy stream for, for Sky or BT or whatever, who the hell is watching MLS, like a West Coast game at three o'clock in the morning it, yeah. in, in Scotland? Crazy. What about, <laughs> yeah, or what about people who do, um, like a, a UFC fight, you know, McGregor's got a fight and it's in yeah. Vegas or whatever. Yeah, they do. And yeah, that's true. Over there, yeah, it's that's like, a lot yeah, more rare though. It's not a lot more yeah. rare than, than, uh, yeah, than the MLS often, games, which is still. like every week. Right, right. But still it's like, damn, that's, I mean, yeah, if it's only like, you know, once or twice a year, but that's, that's true. That's, uh, yeah. Like which, that. which I think, which I think goes to show how widespread we are. That we're sure. everywhere. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely, 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 definitely everywhere. And it was, it was, uh, it was fun walking through the airport on Sunday. Walking yeah. through the Atlanta airport all day, clad in green, walking yeah. around. <laughs> that extra spring in your staff, your head a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it totally was. Totally was. Had to do it. Had to do it. So, uh, so you, you got up, you watched the game. Did you uh, a little coffee or breakfast, or just straight right in bed on your phone? What'd you do? Which one was it? Uh, yeah, I just stayed in bed. I didn't even normally because uh, it was on uh, Sky Sports too. So normally for that, I'll go and I'll you know pull it up on my laptop and I'll put it on you know connected uh, HDMI to the TV. Um, I just didn't even get out of bed because I was out late the night before, you know, for a New York game. You know, still a little, oh, yeah, yeah, you're after the game. You know, right. So I'm just like, no, I'll just pull up on Mob Dro and just, you know, watch it here and not move. There you uh, go. So I just, I just, I kept it simple. So did you wake Amy up when the first goal went in at 7 10? No, I was uh, <laughs> verbally, I was quiet. I, I you know, did the, you know, the, the fist pump, the, you know, and. <laughs> Shook the bed a little bit, you know. <laughs> I think I, I scared the cat. You know, cats look at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <coughs> That's so funny, because you know, I, I you guys may or may not know my uh, I, my wife's been her her father had a, had a stroke a couple weeks ago and uh, and passed away last week, and I was in Iowa for for um, for the funeral, and that was. Uh, Receiving Saturday funeral Sunday, and uh, sorry, uh, receiving Friday funeral Saturday. So Sunday morning, you know, I'm I'm exhausted because just the day, and then with family, and then you're there, and you just you know you just you know controlled on on time, and uh, not controlled but constrained in time and what you can do and everything else. And next thing you know, we're just uh, basically uh, it's like. 12, 12 30, 1 o'clock and I've got a beer in my hand and we're just sitting here, you know, talking, telling stories about my my father in law and just having a good old time and I look down and I go, I gotta go to bed. I gotta, I'm gonna be up at I gotta be up at five thirty. Now, my, my wife's parents are, are, you know, were farmers, are farmers, they live in a farm. I mean the nearest house to them is like a mile away. And you know, her mom was up at five at five thirty, you know, doing what she does every every morning. And she was just surprised when the alarm went off at five thirty in the morning, and I <laughs> turned it off. And Stacy looks at me. She goes, "You have to. You have to. You you can't get up. You you can't get up. You just don't get out of bed." I'm like, "I have to get up." She's like begging me, "Please don't get out of bed." I'm like, "Baby, I love you. I love you, but." <laughs> right. If it was any other day, if it was any other day, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if we were home to thistle, I wouldn't care. It'd be no big deal. But I've got to get up. And when the first goal went in, it was like the silent, don't say anything, but like thrash around in bed and fist bump. <laughs> yeah. It's 
<laughs> she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, why nothing? Why nothing? She's like, will you shut up? <laughs> so in a weekend, that was kind of, uh, kind of blah. That was, uh, that, that was a definite, definite needed that. And it was definite pick me up for the weekend. So then uh, flying home after that with uh, a little bit of spring in your step, as you said, that was, that was good. But um, gone to uh, the, uh, the game at hand. Did you, um, did you have a certain opinion on how well or how poorly uh, Willie Collum did? Do you have an opinion on that? Um, I'd say overall he did all right. Um, there were times where I think he definitely could have uh, been – he definitely could have screwed us for sure. Um, but then there were times where I think that uh, he kind of, like the, the penalty, like he definitely could have not called that. You know, I was not expecting that to get called. <laughs> yeah, and, me you know, too. Especially, you know, it was in front of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Robinson or whatever. whatever <laughs> name, right? So I was like, if they go to, to appeal to anybody, they're going to go to this guy. You know, so yeah. they're not going to get picked <laughs> When that happened, I was like, he called it. Right. So I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, my God. And then, and, you know, to sidetrack a little bit, like, actually, when uh, Sinclair took the penalty kick, you know, and he hit the post first, and I saw, you know, heard the post, and then saw go, and I'm just like, I can't believe he missed it. So it was just a roller coaster of, like, split second, like, millisecond, like, you know, heart sank, then seeing it go in. Then hearing the crowd, I was just like, "Holy shit! I can't be like, oh man, like that was that was intense." But no, um, <laughs> like, no, there. I, I, you know, for all things considered, I think we probably got the really kind of the best of what we can expect, you know, in in that kind of a game, refereeing wise. Yeah. What do you think? What yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I was it, minus minus a couple uh, opportunities for him to uh, send players off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be my only. You know what I mean? You know, minus the, that the, the tackle on Patty. Um, yeah. Oh God. Now, uh, that's uh, let, let's just let's just assume. Let, listen. Let's just assume that's a yellow. Let, just, 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 just for just for fun. Let's assume that's a yellow. The other seventy-five fouls. <laughs> right. <laughs> kind of accumulated. You know, I mean, how many how would they have? How many must have had at least five or six really really good fouls. And and not including the one where he absolutely just it looked like Patty was on a damn fucking wave machine and got wiped out. But Jesus Christ. And, I mean, like, God. that one that one was kind of early in the game, I remember. Yeah, saying. it was like 3 minutes in. Right. Yeah, so like you're going to like okay, you know, like stuff with, with with fouls and stuff like that. I know there's like you know, specific rules, like you know, you you know how you tackle a player and you leave your feet and stuff like that. And if it's dangerous, you don't get the ball, blah blah blah. But a lot of this stuff, when it really comes down to it, comes down to the referee, and it, it, it is a, a judgment call in a sense. So especially like early in a game, you know, like same with baseball, you know, it's the the, the umpire establishes the strike zone, you know. You know <clears throat> So yeah, rest, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Do, if you want to take it to that yeah. level, yeah. So, right, so how he's going to call fouls and if he's going to, you know, card players, it's okay. Now we know how the game's going to go. So it's like, you know, he's kind of establishing, you know, how, how he's going to, uh, um, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, referee the game. So it's like, all right, here's how it's going to go from here on out. Now we know what to expect. But then, yeah, from there... After that, he didn't even follow really his own guidelines regarding you know bookings and and uh, for lack of a better word, uh, the harshness of yeah. play and tackles. So it's yeah. like you got to stick to your own shit at least. Yeah, but I'll tell you, it, 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 I'll put it this way, and, I, and this is where I think you're right in your first comment, and I'm going to agree with you again. What's interesting is not the fact that he did that. What's really interesting is the fact that. He didn't give us anything stupid, minus one foul for uh, 
who do you give the who do you give the card to to Rogic for something dumb? But the game was basically yeah, over yeah, by then. Yeah. But after that, I mean, he didn't he didn't saddle us with anything dumb either. Right. You know, and I think Tom Boyd hit it great. He's like, "How did he miss that? I thought I thought Willie Collum had uh, had eyes in the back of his head after he gave the penalty right. for not seeing anything." But you know, it's I, I if you had to grade him, give me a grade for Willie Collum because that's 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 more of what I'm interested in. We know the outcome of the game. We know we just killed him. We know where, as the title says, streets ahead. Give me, I mean, give me a, a, a grade for Willie Collum. I guess a C. You know, it's just down the middle. You know, since we, and that's a bias since we won. You know, if we would have lost or something, <laughs> I'd probably been give him like a D. <laughs> you know, obviously, yeah. I'm not going to go and say, like, oh, he gets a B, you know, because we won. But I'd say, you know, a C, maybe a C plus, but yeah, some, somewhere in the, in the C range. <laughs> in the C range, he is. He is uh, definitely. De- I don't. I don't know how these guys get. How these guys end up in in with with FIFA badges. <clears throat> well, that's right. Yeah, he is a proper. Yeah, Robertson too. Referee, yeah. Robertson too. Yeah. yeah, Robertson too. I don't know. I don't know how to get it, but I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm happy with the way the game was played. I I started out with Willie Collum basically because I was absolutely surprised that the game was he he did as well on our end of the ball as he did. Mm. He really did. He really did. I mean, he 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 we, did a decent job. We dominated the game, just the play of the game and the flow of the game so much that I don't think you really could have cheated us that much. You know what I mean? Yes. It would have been really hard pressed to to yes. find something. It would have been those those little tiny things like with Roger and and like how the tackles yes. went and stuff like that. It would have been hard to really do it to us. They did. They t- I will say that, that you're correct. And and I and I think last time uh, Chris was on it was he was talking about, you know, Jockstein's comment of you just you know, just be that good that they can't take it from you. I think that's really. I think that's really what happened. I mean, after after a draw in which they kind of kind of walked through the draw, got a late bad call at the end. You know, Robertson basically, you know, tried to, you know, to to help County. I I I, I had made the comment last week. You know, maybe this is a good thing. Mm. Maybe the draw was a good thing. I mean, can that can can a loss be a good thing, Rev? A can loss? a draw? Yeah, can a draw like that or a decision like that? Can a yeah. loss like that be a good thing? Definitely. By the by, the way, ladies and gentlemen, that is a loaded question, which I'm going to come back to later. So be careful how you answer it, Rev. Can a loss be a good thing, Rev? Yes, yes, I do think. So. <laughs> can a loss be a good? Be careful. Be careful. No, can a loss I, be I a know. good thing? And, and I'll, I say, I say yes, and and I. You know, I'm open-minded, and I'll, I I stick to my yes. Yeah. 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 I, I think that I think a loss or a draw. I think that decision not being positive for us, the the decision that Robertson. I think I I really do think that was a that was uh, as in the U.S. they say bulletin board material for the rest of the week. Uh, easy yeah. to drive that and bus. It, and you know, at the very least, it drew a lot of attention to him. Mm-hmm. You know, personally, so eyes were on him. And you know, if if you let's say hypothetically, he knew what he was doing, and it was bullshit, and and everything. Oh yeah, um, I agree. You know, so like, let, let, let's just let's just you know drink the conspiracy Kool Aid for a second <laughs> and just think about that. And let, let's say. Let's, let's go down that road. And then the powers of that be are like, you got to pull it back a little bit for this game because everyone, everyone's watching, all eyes are on you. You know, you, you got to rein it in. So if you want to think about it like that, no, obviously I'm not saying that is the case, but in that regard to what you said, if a loss or a draw can be a good thing, that kind of fits into that, that, you know, Maybe that is what happened. 
Who knows? It has to be. It has to be. It ha- I mean, it has to. It has to be. It has to be a pop. I mean, you get to the point where you're where you're a little worried. You're a little bit you know bothered. You know what I mean? It, it, it's it's. Mm. I, I mean, listen. Uh, it, I think how many times has Brendan said it? These guys are not robots. They're not robots. They're gonna. They are. They 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 mentally they have to. There's a there's a there's a hundred percent chance they're gonna go into a game, you know, thinking that they're gonna pound everybody. Why? Because they've done it all year. Right. You know. You know what I mean? I I just, man. I just I just I I. I think that was a good thing. I think the draw was a good thing. Looking back now, in hi- as, as I as, let me say this one more. In hindsight. Dare I use the term hindsight? Because we're going to talk about that again later. In, but in, in hindsight, hindsight, in hindsight, just saying. Uh, in hindsight, yes, that was a that was a, a a looking back. I think that we can safely attach the pain and the irritation of the draw and the Robertson decision towards um, spurring on the Celtic players all week and coming out because the first twenty minutes, I was like. Damn, is the field tilted towards Fodderham? Right. Holy shit! They did they get across their end of the field a couple times? That was it, right? Oh man, they were all over them. That, yeah, they were all over them. They're all over them. But the obviously the the the, uh, the 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 elephant in the corner of the room is Dembele. Is that a, is that is it, you think that's a big loss, or is it just now time for him to have his injury and Griffiths to to do what he's supposed to be doing? Um, well, first of all, did, I haven't seen anything. Is there, you know, what's... I the, have what's not seen for? a thing on him yet. Okay. have not seen anything. He was supposed to have a scan, or... that's all he said. Right. Um, you know, no, I mean, it's, it's, it sucks, obviously, you know, and, and I really want him. I hope he's not out for, like, his own sake, because, you know, he was really close. You know, we were saying like January, February, to like blowing through mm-hmm. forty, you know, fifty goals, the single season record. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's dropped off. I think the team as a whole is a little dropped off. You know, still head and shoulders above everyone else, um, but as a whole, you know, instead of doing you know four or five goals a game, it's only like two, one goal a game. You know, but still, still winning and and just. But now, yeah, we've had uh what three draws in a month and a half or Couple. so yep versus mm-hmm. one draw forever <clears throat> yeah we talked about that last time um, about you know him playing three at the back and getting a draw while we're playing three in the back but but there's i'm looking right here more for dembele celtic injury and i don't see anything at all that's new mm-hmm. on that right now I mean, Nothing at the same all. time, I I like Rivers. Like, there's no reason why he shouldn't be playing, other than the fact that, you know, for all things considered, Dembele's, you know, uh, technically better, you know, and has he's, you know, he's a good player and everything like that. So you you play who's good, and it, it's hard to fit all of our best players on the field at mm-hmm. the same time. Mm-hmm. We're kind of stacked. Um, so, you know. Like when he, you know, like when he he went down and he started doing the the motion to get subs, you know, I'm just like at first I'm just like shit, this sucks because sucks for him. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, we got Griffiths. Yeah, not entirely worried. <clears throat> yeah, that's a big know, thing, man. The prospects of the game and everything, right? That's a big thing. I I, I think so. it's a I think it's a a quality statement to make that when someone like Dembele, who is you know worth whatever he's going to be worth when he goes. And that you get to bring on somebody who scored forty goals last year. You got somebody who scored forty goals last right. year on your bench, not right. four, four zero. Right. So uh, give me a yeah. grade on uh, Dembele's uh, Dembele's layoff to McGregor. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty uh, sweet. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right, you know, I'll put this. Way. I'll make it easy for you, Dembele. If you package the whole thing together. The, the, whole, McGregor, the, the McGregor play. finish, yeah, and like over the top from Lustig, the touch, the drop, and then the 
Yeah, did you see the goal? Did you see the re- the replay from uh, from behind on the ground level? How that ball moved no, a I good didn't. oh man, the ball moved a good four and a half, five feet around Fodderham. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you get a chance, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't retweet it somewhere. I've got it somewhere on my on my on my Twitter. I'll tweet it out to you. Yeah. So give me a grade on the on the whole thing. Yeah, I'd say like A minus. Like it was pretty you know, the yeah, the, like I did like kinda how like, you know, how the camera does when it's like really close and it's following the ball and it's like you go too far and like and you're like, Oh shit, where'd it go? You know, like I'm watching and stuff and like I my my eyes kept going, it's like, Oh, ball went back this way. Oh, now ball's in the goal. Oh shit. <laughs> the ball's in the goal. Ching You know, uh, but this is what's interesting about about the about the uh about the goal. They were trying to pass the ball around, pass the ball around, pass the ball around, pass the ball around. You realize both goals, both the what what you know what Griffith Griffiths had for the for the PK, and the ball to Dembele for the goal, um, they were both long balls. Mm-hmm. Route yeah. one football. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Rogers' shot. That hit the bottom. Yeah, the, po- uh, the post. Yeah, that was. Uh, well, no, that was kind of they passed that one around too. I think, right? I take that back. Yeah, no, I take that back. Yeah, they're 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 just kind of passing that around, and he he just dinked the shot. Yeah, he he, uh, yeah, he, oh, he almost no, got yeah. that in too. <clears throat> so well, then what, what, really quick, what I was going to say is like when uh, when Griffiths came on, like his style of play is totally different than than, uh, than Bailey's because like now he's dropping deeper and he's like playing on the wing more like I see him like he's running you know tracking back more and he's like trying to pull the ball up you know from like the midfield and it's like you know I'm thinking to expect him to see like you know it's because the ball's on like the right wing I'm thinking it's like Patty Roberts I'm like oh no it's Lee Griffiths and he's just taking the ball himself and he's you know just trying to just run it up and you know and they're they're at like the midfield line, like you know center line, and it's just him trying to do it, like you know not like carrying the team on his shoulders, but just this is what he does. He just runs all the fuck around, and, <laughs> you know. and that's why I think you know he can he scores so many goals, like besides the fact that you know he's got you know fucking he's got a great foot and he can you know has great accuracy, but he's hard to defend because he's all over the place and he's speedy, so you you just you know, you can't really keep track of him. It's like he's here one minute, over there the next minute. You know. Yeah. So, no, I, I'm, I'm not worried. I, I am, but I'm not at the same time. Like I said. Yeah, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing out there right now there, about it. I don't think they've, they've, they've really talked about it at all about what's going on with it, with him next. But <clears throat> after that, the uh, how big was Bruni? Oh, so glad he played. <laughs> You think it was a? You think? Do you think it's a different? If he if he doesn't win his appeal, uh, mm-hmm. do you think the the outcome's different on Saturday? I don't know. I mean, you, I or do you think the, the Rangers have basically had it? They've they've had it. Well, this. That's a good point. This will definitely uh, deflate their sales because now they have nothing to play for. You know? Right. There, there's no no trophies to be won. They're playing for pride, which, eh, you know, <laughs> what pride did they have left, really? Um, yeah, no, they're, they're kind of uh, rock bottom right now, it looks like. Um, and, uh, this is at Ibrox or at home? Ibrox. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I could see, I could see it obviously being harder for us, um, without Bruni, definitely. That's a no-brainer, but I don't see it being monumental by any means, um, I think, uh, yeah, we still have the the scoring capacity to make up for any you know midfield um, uh, deficiencies. 
So I'm not I'm not too worried if they you know show up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be. I, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm, I really don't care. I mean, I, I, I want them to win, but I'm not worried about it. I'm more worried about you know the 30th of uh, 27th actually of May. Um, yeah. So uh, give me chances of uh, give me. Let's do an over under. Over under 80 percent chance of not winning the appeal. Do you think it's you think Brady's got a better than 80 percent chance of of losing the appeal or what do you think? I think uh, I yeah I don't I don't think they're gonna give it to them just because just because they can you know they'll just stick it to them just because they 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 have the power to um, so he'll probably lose it. Give me a percentage. What do you think? It's higher than eighty percent. You think right? Eighty percent chance he, he loses his uh, his appeal. Yeah, no, yeah, higher than eighty. Um, I mean, I'd say like definitely hundred percent, but it's ninety nine point nine nine. Like percent dove pure, huh? Ninety nine point six percent. Yeah, I tried to go higher, but I thought if I put ninety five percent, you wouldn't take me seriously. But I eighty percent. I, I don't think he wins it, but I I, I don't know. I mean, if you were the the committee, would you would you look at Halliday's tackle and then look at Bruni's tackle to compare them? I think different games, different referees. Yeah, I mean, like, is, is I, that is I that get what everyone is else that something you can say? say? What's that? Is that something you can actually do? I don't think so. Like, I I agree with everyone saying like, oh, if this is isn't a red, then this shouldn't be red, and I I agree with that. But it's like that's not how they operate. Like you know, with and I've never seen any league do it like that. Like NHL, you know, they do, you know, the disciplinary committee like the same shit. You know, um, every I think it actually is on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or something like the same thing. Right. Um, they re-review the stuff from the past week and you know do more bands and all that stuff. But like uh, I've never heard of anything really being overturned or lessened um, because of something last week being compared to yeah being compared <laughs> to, to another incident like it, it just doesn't work like that I wish it did but that's not going to happen because really if that's the case you can bring up from something else that the Huns did to us that wasn't even fucking called and be like he shouldn't even have a card period you know, <laughs> you know bring up bring up the no-call, you know, <clears throat> penalty mm-hmm. against Griffiths, you know, that was even called a penalty. That should be, you know, at least a yellow for getting kicked in the chest. If not, you know, you want to say, like, last man thing, that, you know, maybe make the argument that he's, uh, that's a straight red or something, um, for, you know, last man in the box and everything. So it's like, that's not a call, so Bruni shouldn't even get the, the thing. And in fact, <laughs> he should, you know, get a, a free red card where he can just headbutt somebody next game. and Because it wasn't called once before. Was that? Because it wasn't called once before and no one saw it. Right, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so it's like, eh. So I, don't, I, I think it'll still, you know, if anything, like maybe just down to one match or something, but I don't even see that happening. Right. I don't see it happen either. But anyway, so... um You don't think we lose on Saturday, do you? If Bruni doesn't play, I don't think so. Um, you know, obviously, it's not our most optimal team. But here's my question: Do you do uh, a phrase I, I saw on Twitter that I like is uh, "baptism by fire" mm-hmm. or "kuase"? <sighs> you like that, <sighs> or do you go? You know, a little more tried and true, or you just throw him, throw him to the wolves and see what happens. I don't. Do you give? I mean, do you put near baton in there? It's tough. Like, I I don't know what I would do. That's a that's a good one, man. I don't know. Near's a. I don't, 
You can't, you can't expect him, you can't expect him to be quarterback like like Bruni does. Right, right. No situation really is a good best situation because yeah, you got him, Kawase, who's too green, I would say, and and you don't really want to. I would really start him because that would be what his second start. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's a yeah. Like I said too too green for that. Um. But Tom hasn't played for a little bit. He hasn't started for a little bit. So don't know if he's up to snuff. You know, uh, Rogic. I don't know if he's fit enough, and I don't want him to re-injure himself after coming right back. Right. Um, do you, you know, what what else do you do? There really isn't anything you can do, is there? No. Yeah. Gregor. He's gonna play. You know, he'll get he'll get a he'll get a shout. Or you do like a half and half, maybe you know, just put somebody there for forty five minutes and then switch him out. Like, yeah, it, it's. It's tough. It's a tough one. We'll, we'll we'll get to that later. Anyway, so um, yeah, man. Or do I, something I, crazy like uh, throw like Boyata or something. Or oh like, Jesus, um, please stop, stop. Just now. Uh, <laughs> oh God, the, those two. I tell you what, I I realized that it was it was a clean sheet. Very very happy, but I don't. I, Boyata still scares the shit out of me. And one thing that really that really bothers me is. Lustig's ability to play on the ball and get fucking just run over. Uh, he's done that a couple times this year and in big situations. And he almost, and it almost paid off for them again when he got run over doing that stupid shit, you know, just trying to play the ball. And then he gets the ball taken away from him, falls on the ground, and acts like he's hurt. Bad. Hmm. Bad, bad, bad. Don't which, do that. Uh, which time was that? Was that the uh, offsides? That was the off offsides after it was the middle? Yeah. Yeah, he's done it a couple I'm times, and, like, and a couple I'm situations sure. where, yeah, in a couple situations where uh, where Bayada put uh, Svitchenko and uh, not Svitchenko, uh, uh, Simonovic and and uh, Gordon in bad situations. A couple times mm. he did that, uh, playing the ball uh, quite slowly and not in the best way possible. But um, man, I, I, yeah. the last thing on the game was the last minute of the game. Mm-hmm. Or after, the last, the first minute after the game ended. Something or nothing. Do you think the, uh, the hug at the end oh. was something? <laughs> Tell, when you saw them hug, you know, when you saw, you know, Pedro right. hug Brendan, what did you think? Right. What was What was going through your head when you saw that? I I laughed and I I loved it and then I you know thought to myself if I was in their shoes I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> really? Really? Get out. Swear to god. No. I I yeah, I was like if if this guy was my manager and that the hug, the hug's fine. No, if you said just the hug, but like, you know, like the, the smile and everything, I was just like, oh man, that's got to fucking kill them right now. Yeah. But I loved it. <laughs> I saw that. Oh man, that was amazing. Oh, that felt so good. And then uh, somebody, somebody posted that to Twitter and said, uh, your managers will be, will be Celtic fans. Yeah, your managers will be Celtic fans. Yeah, <laughs> but do you think do you think it do you think that a hug was a good thing? I mean, or am I bec- or I becoming a, a, like a, a real lefty softy about everyone should hug a tree? I mean, what, what's the? Do you, do you think that's a a good? Do you think it was a good thing? You think it was the reason why I say that was it seemed almost as if it was an anti. Lenin slash McCoy's thing. It was almost as if they were. It it was almost as if it was meant to be a social, um, nice. They were 
pleasant, thoughtful human beings. Yeah, yeah, no. All things being equal, yeah. You have Brendan Rodgers, who is such a Celtic fan, okay, but he's not, like, he doesn't have that that um, ingrained hatred. Like, he, he is a professional, you know? He, he is a, a sharp, classy professional. Um, Pedro... <laughs> we don't know what Pedro is. Pedro is Pedro. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, a, a month and a half ago, he was in, where, like, Dubai or Qatar or yeah, whatever? Yeah, he was fifth in the like, Qatari League. Right. Like, there's no, like, he's a nobody. I don't mean, like, oh, he's fucking he's a nobody. Like, he has no connections to this. So I can see if it was, like, yeah, like, you know, Alan McCoy or... Or, you know, Walter Smith or something like that. Like, I would not expect a hug to happen at all because you've got somebody who's, like, in it and, you know, quote, unquote, true blue and all that stuff, you know. Pedro's not true blue. You know, he doesn't have that that connection. Mm -hmm. So, to him, it's just a job. And he's just going about it how he would a job. So, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's, that's all it is to him. Um... Do so you think it's a little bit like easier? That, it's easier for him to to hug somebody and just you know, go Ari Gold. Let's hug sure. it out, hug it out, bitch. I mean, is that yeah? Is that is especially this is his, it's his first game. He's only played uh, how many matches? This is his sixth, I think. Yeah, something like that. And, yeah, not very many in charge, you know. Um, so and you, you know and, and for on on Brendan's side, um, this is already the second uh, Senko manager he's faced in less than a year. Um, so it's not even like you know you know what I mean like everything so the point I'm trying to make is everything so like fresh and new that you can't even develop. Um, aside from the teams themselves and the history between the teams themselves, uh, a, a history rivalry. You can't hate them that quick. You know, right, right. And between the people themselves, yeah, you, you can't develop that, that, that hatred or anything. You know, you have to go, go through it a couple of times. But, you know, if you, if you start off hugging, I don't really see how you can uh, get to you know that point of of that kind of hatred at least you know it's fine i I honestly on i I looked at and i was like wow how grown up (laughs) seriously that's what i thought how grown up are those two to actually act that way and then the thought of oh the fucking huns will be raging that's the second thought right that was my second thought holy shit they are gonna absolutely they are gonna fucking. They're gonna put. They're gonna have a fucking cow. They're gonna birth a cow right then and there in the middle of Glasgow. Bang! Uh, uh, that's what they were gonna do. As soon as I saw that happen, I knew that was gonna happen. And just right afterwards, it was like you know, I saw a couple screenshots, and no one, yeah. no one, was excited to see that. Excited to see that. So, you know. That's kind of odd. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm used to Ronnie roaring and and Lenny raging and Koisty spitting on Ronnie on uh, on uh, Lenny, but I don't. I don't know what to think of those guys yeah, hugging think, it out. Even on halftime, didn't they shake hands? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I don't know. I think they they showed it real quick. I kind of I don't you know, know just glance, and I think I might have missed it, but I'm pretty sure at halftime even. As they were going towards the tunnel, they kind of like met and like shook hands real quick. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to check a look. I don't know. That's a good question. It would be interesting, though. So, but uh, apparently, Pedro uh, did say that uh, he, uh, at, when they were hugging it out, I invited him for some good Portuguese wine after the match on Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what he said. So, obviously, his taste in. In, uh, you know, in teams sucks and his taste in wine, unless it's port, sucks too. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, (laughs) 
I'm not a big fan of the Portuguese grape that they make for port being used in dry red wine. That's just me. Anyway, so um, let's get into some uh, what he said and what he meant to say. So um, Brendan said something like, unbeaten record doesn't motivate me. With the, with, do you, A, do you believe him? And B, what do you think he really meant to say? I don't, I don't really believe him. Uh, I think there's been a couple times where he's uh, maybe gotten inside of his head a little bit for a couple games. I, I think uh, within the past, like uh, February, early March, Things were a little kind of shaky there, and I just felt like he kind of got, maybe got inside of his head with some uh, close games, um, but shit ended up working out anyway. Uh, but what he meant to say, um, the only thing that really motivates me is getting that third uh, trophy. <laughs> I don't blame either. I think because, and the reason why it, I don't think like he, I don't believe what he said when he goes uh, unbeaten record doesn't matter motivate me. I don't believe him. I think it does because if I'm to believe the supporter conversation that he continues to have, mm -hmm. he knows what that means in the in in terms of in the future in history looking back. Because right. he's going to need something along those lines, and the reason why is because he's I, I don't I listen. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to see him do something in Europe, but I think the winning the European Cup is going to be hard for him to match to get to the level right. of Jock's team. And and that's and that's that's not saying that he won't. Not saying that I don't want him to. Not saying that I'm not in favor of him doing that. I'm just saying I doubt that's going to happen. Mm. And unless something drastically changes, and he's here for it, and if it does happen. I'll be the first person on a plane over to go see it. Uh, mm -hmm. The the question is at this point in time, you know, I think for him, I think what he's really trying to he's trying to deflect. Oh well, um, well, mm, and um, uh, no, it doesn't really mean anything to me. I uh, what he's trying to say is, please don't ask me anymore. I'm tired of talking about it. Of course, it means something to me because I understand what the history of this is. Right. Oh, real quick, just to backtrack for a second. We yeah. were talking, you know, about like used to like the Ronnie Roar and all that, uh, all that stuff and everything. What I've maybe it's just me. I've only noticed it now. But what he does uh, after games, or maybe he just started to that I really like is um, it seems like he calls over, um, I guess, like the man of the match or whoever he considers to be like the man of the match, mm -hmm. and like brings them over to uh, you know the supporters or the away end or whatever mm -hmm. for you know for that game and like gives a player recognition to the fans. Like he did it with Bruni, I think on Sunday. Yeah. Um, I forget who it was like last time I, I saw that. So I'm just like, if that's his thing that he does, I like that. That's, that's classy. Dude, it's crazy with him. I, who does his PR? They're, I mean, they're unbeaten. I mean, Jesus Christ, they're, they're, they've got a better record than Celtic does this year. Yeah, really? <laughs> His, his PR the is spotless. Shit does not think. No, his do, shit does not think. <laughs> it, 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 it may. I just haven't seen any of it lately, or at all yet. You know what I mean? Even when he, even right. when he left, you know, even when he left uh, Liverpool. You know, you can mm. you can hate the man for whatever reason you want to hate the man for, but it wasn't because he was rude or disrespectful or did something stupid. He may have. You know, you may not have picked the right team, but that's playing manager. It isn't because of his personality or something silly. You know what I mean? Right. Really, really interesting. I, I think I don't. Think, I don't believe him. I think he realizes the history of it all. I mean, and then go from there. But um, the other thing, uh, let's see. Uh, he was talking about. Brendan also talked about uh, adding new players coming up, and he said we don't need uh, many, just a few. And I'd like to extend Armstrong. So. Extend Armstrong. Uh, give me, I mean, I, what, a few. How many, what do you think he really meant to say? When he said, I don't really need many, I just need a few. What is he, what is he, what do you think, what do you think he, what do you think he meant to say? I mean, you know, when I 
think a few, like, you know, one is one, a couple is two, a few is three or more. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say, you know, from what we've said, from what I've thought on my own, yeah, we've kind of gone at, like, yeah, like about a, at least three. So I'd be okay, you know, more than okay, I'd be pretty happy, you know, uh, with, with three new players, um, three quality players. Mm-hmm. Um you know, I saw an article not that long ago, who knows if it's true or not, whatever, um, that they're still looking after that uh, uh, one guy that they were trying to get in the winter, that Henry Henry, however you say his name, right. guy. Um, but, you know, back in January, there was stuff that he's not the best uh, well-mannered player, kind of has a bit of an attitude and stuff. But, that seems, if that's true, that seems um, not really uh, on par with uh, Brendan's thinking and stuff. So, well, like well I mean, really th- then we have the issue. Didn't we? Didn't we all see the the YouTube video of uh, Kawasi throwing himself around the around the pitch, upset that he got a red card or something? Well, there's a difference between doing something like that in a game, and then I think. And again, this is back in January, so I don't totally remember, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, something like the guy was getting mad, he wasn't, like, showing up to games or practices or something like that. Yeah, because he was mad because he didn't get a chance to leave. Yeah, he that's that's correct. Right. So it's like, unless, you know, Brendan thinks like a, you know, 19-year-old girl who likes the bad boy and thinks, oh, I can be the one to change him, you know, kind of thing. Hey, who knows? Um, or just really likes that guy as, as a as a player and sees like the the talent he has. Like again, he's he's done enough this year that uh, I'll afford him obviously the 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 width and to say hey you you do you you know like, you have the trust um, and go out there and do what you have to do. So I'll, I'll back what you do. Um, so if that's what he wants. All right, let's uh, let's see it. <laughs> If that's what he wants. Oh man, I, I I I saw an article. The reason why I put this in here is because I saw an article where where uh, someone had asked on Twitter if uh, asked I forget who it was who they asked some uh, past Celtic. I think, I think they asked Frank Mankovini on, on on Twitter. Uh, do you think uh, City would take? Uh, Dembele, if they gave us Denier, Patty, and ten million, hmm. and McAvenny said, "Well, why can't we just pay the money we want to pay for they, that they want for Patty and Denier, and keep uh, and keep Dembele?" It's like, "Oh, well, yeah, there you go." <laughs> okay, but I mean, would you? I mean, would you? I obviously you'd buy, I'd like to see Patty back, but you realize Denier is only twenty one. Yeah, for really He's a young. kid. He's a kid. Patty's twenty. He's twenty-one. I mean, Jesus. I mean, would he, do you th- I mean, do you think he'd want to come back? Is that is that something that's I mean, that's something you think that we that they know, could pull off? Yeah, I would hope so. You know, I mean, he's done a lot over the past uh, eighteen months. Um. Hopefully, like the all the the you know bromance stuff that everyone jokes about with with uh, Tierney is real, and you know maybe he uh, would want to continue his his friendship in close proximity like that. And I mean, you know, he's he's a young kid, so you know, I imagine like myself at that age, like that's you know college age and stuff, and like being separated from a really close friend um, during college and. You know, it that that shit kind of sucks. So it's like maybe you know maybe he would want to to hang out. Um, you know, I I don't know where his aspirations lie. Like if he does want you know to go home per se to to England and play in the EPL, or maybe he thinks like oh he's still young, so he can you know hang out here because he's done so much here. Right. You know? And then you know he has the time to you know eventually in a couple of years go home. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
or if he doesn't really care where he plays, like he's happy here, but he he would stay if the money's right or, or you know whatever. Um, I mean, I I it you know they said like yeah they're they're gonna not pursue him or whatever. I, I wish that they did because the past. I, I, does he? I mean, it's it's interesting. It, it really is interesting because Patty made the comment, um, "I want to leave with a treble." Is that a goodbye? Is I mean, he, what um, he said, what he meant to say, what he meant to say was, what he said was, "I want to leave with a treble." What, did he mean to really say, "I'm out of here. See you later. Thanks a lot for the memories." No, I don't. I mean, necessarily think it's, it's like that. You know, in with like a, a a negative, you know, connotation. But just like I would see it more as it, trying, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to say like, you know, he's leaving, goodbye. But I'm going to leave on a high note. I'm going to get this for us, for you, for me. You know, I'm going to make sure that this happens before I leave. You know, that doesn't mean goodbye. That's I mean, it, it it does, but <laughs> before you know, before it's goodbye, well, at least uh, you know, like a, we'll always have Paris kind of thing. <laughs> we'll always have Paris. <laughs> we'll we'll always have Hampton. We'll always have Hampton. <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, Let's see. Uh, last one. Uh, let's see, because we have uh, we have an important show tonight to watch, which I have to get in, I have to get uh, right. info from you on. By the way, before we're done, remind me. Um, All right. Ryan Jack made the comment: "We have no fear facing Celtic." What do you think he really meant to say? Please don't hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was really rooting for Rangers. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think you really meant to say. Fuck us! Come on, really? Um, do you think? Do you think this uh, this this cup final, uh, two cup finals, and a uh, and uh, Aberdeen being in second place? Do you, do you think that kind of solidifies who the second best team in Scotland is now? <laughs> do you think it matters? Yeah, no. <laughs> after after Rangers saying, "Oh, all the Rangers Sevco players," but basically saying, "Oh, it's unfair. You're not talking about us." That's because there's no reason to talk about you, you bastards. Oh, for sure. Um, the one thing, and, and it kind of sucks, like, um, oh, who the fuck was it? Uh, Johnny Hayes, right? He's Aberdeen. Um, yeah. He had the, the thing. Um, he was hoping for Rangers to win so Ryan Christie can be able to play in the final. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was like, can we just recall him from low? Like, just... Just recall Christy from Lowe so he can play for us. Like, why the hell not? Let's do that. I don't think he... I don't... Do you, do, you, do you need him? What? Do you need Christy to Did play we? that game? He, no, he, he can't play. He can't play against us. Yeah, no, I say, do we need... We don't need Christy for that game, do we? Oh, no, we don't need him. But since it's the final, you know, since it's against us, he can't play. He can't play against, you know, his other club. But I'm just saying... He has to sit it out. That sucks for him. You know, there's no way he can possibly get a, 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 you know, a medal. But just for the sake of it, just recall him back to us so he has a chance to get a medal. Like, because the season's over by then. It's, what, like two weeks after the league is over? So the league's over. Recall him. And then let him play in the final. Oh, man. Could you imagine? Put him on the bench. Even if we don't play it, put him on the bench. Could you imagine? I mean, that would be... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be funny. Oops. Hey, guys. Walking walk past, like, Aberdeen. Hey, guys. How you hey, doing? Do you, uh, I, I wonder if the, if the contract ends to the, to the point of all, all, all games being done. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. Last one. Last one of this. 
Brendan made the comment, When I came to Celtic, people said that Hamden was not a good place for us. What do you think he meant to say? Oh, I don't know. Like I thought there was that. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, when I came to Pete, when I came to Southern, people said Hamden wasn't a good place for us. Well, I'll change that shit. <laughs> I'll change that shit. Yeah, you. Re- I mean, the reason why, I, could you imagine? I mean, the last time they beat uh, a team in blue with uh, five stars on their chest uh, in a Scottish Cup semifinal was like 100 years ago or something. Yeah, it said 1925, and uh, Jimmy McGrory scored a hat trick or some shit like that. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I mean, that's just a semifinal. I mean, yeah, in the semifinal, other, yeah. You know. So that's like the most home runs on a Wednesday. Okay. So yeah, I mean, what he th- I think what he meant to say was, I'm I'm not anyone else. Right. You know what I mean? This team isn't this team isn't anyone else. This team is so different from anyone any other team that's played, especially the team that they were last year. Because he had made the comment he had made the comment that you know I I I, I know these players were upset after what happened last year. I used to, when I when I you know first got into Celtic, playing games there, I didn't give a shit about. It. It's just another stadium. Then <laughs> under Lenny, I was like, oh my god, we have to play you know a, a semifinal, cup final, I have to, you know, I'm fucking you know having you know kittens here. Now it's back to, okay, it's just another place to play. Yeah, isn't it crazy? It really is. I, I I like the way he's 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 just turned it into. Yes, it's important, but it's about this game. It isn't about all the long term goals. He's he's saying those things, and that's the reason why I like I like you know. I was talking about what he said, what he meant to say. You know, he he continues to talk about how all these things are, and how and you know, and, and going forward, and I'm only talk, you know how I'm only worried about one thing, and we know that. Come on. It's impossible not to have. It's impossible not to have someone looking at something going forward. If not one person in your team looking forward, not everyone focused on one game. Mm. You have to have people doing advanced work, and you have to have part of your team being ready to take on advanced work. Because if not, you can't plan for the next game. If you if you only plan for this game, how do you set your chess pieces up to play the game afterwards? Right. So I, I mean, I don't necessarily believe all of it. And I totally understand that, but I think there's a there's a lot there's a lot underlying in that comment to me, especially the comment about last year and the players being disappointed, and everything else. You know how how uh, how real uh, underachieving this team was last year. Right. I think I think that's Just to me that's yeah, man. I really do. I really do. I think this team, you know. I think that's what he's really talking about. How could you? How could you not come here and just beat the shit out of everybody? Basically, I don't understand. I think that's what he meant. If you if you, if you had him drunk and asked him a question, say fuck you guys should be kicking everyone's ass. Hell, ten in a row should be ten trophies in a row, bitches. <laughs> here we go, ten trophies in a row. <laughs> but anyway, so. That leads me, since if... if, if great segue. A great segue. If Brendan is going to rip on someone, we have to talk about hindsight. Now, I asked you a question earlier, Rev. You did? I did. I asked you a question. I asked you, is losing sometimes a good thing? Mm-hmm. And you said... It can be. It can be. My question for you is this. Now, did you see the tweet that went out under uh, STG the other day? I did. You did. And what did you think of that of, of the tweet that we put out? Or the, the I, Actually, I'll be honest. It was me. I did it. I want to say, go, go over since there's probably people who didn't see it. So you 
probably should give some backstory. Cause there you go. Okay. So here's, here's what happened. Ronnie Dyla had made the comment. Uh, the fact we did not get the treble in my first season is is killing me still. The referee's non-decision in semifinal when the ball's punched off the line, then we got a red card, and lose still hurts me now. Ah, remember that one. This is from E. Tim's, e. Tim's article. Uh, what he was quoted as saying is, would I still be there if we had won the treble? Yes, I think so. Now, I'm just going to give you a couple comments about Ronnie and why I think he's fucking delusional. But, and I'm going to give you those in a second, but the comment, that comment there, would he still be, if he didn't win, if he'd won that game, he thinks he'd still be manager. That's his comment in hindsight. Now, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Hindsight means I'm looking through history and I'm looking at all those things, okay? Now, I made the comment, I had made the comment, I tweeted out, uh, once again, because God knows if you've listened to this podcast before, uh, when Ronnie first came and we talked, he talked about, he talked a great talk. And then all of a sudden it was like, what the fuck? And then dear God, get rid of him. And even after Marbor, we wanted him gone and we asked for him to go. And then even after the Rangers game that he lost or Sevco game, they lost last year, we wanted him gone. And people are like, Oh, you have to give him respect. I don't have to give him anything. I don't have to give him anything. The best fans in the world. Fine. Whatever you want to call me. That's fine. It's just he was a disaster, and he deserved not to be here. Either way. Anyway, my comment, or the comment that I made was, once again, the media tried out Ronnie Dyla. Josh Meeking uh, should have been, uh, should be hailed if this is the case. If this is what he said, right, Josh Meeking should be hailed as a legend for helping get Dyla out. If he honestly still believes he should be here, is that one of the losses that you think might have been a good thing? Because if not... Yeah. We'd still have Ronnie. Yes, looking hindsight twenty twenty and exactly where we, you know, what we've gone through and and gotten since, then, you know, hindsight being twenty twenty, you could say that is a a it's a bullet you have to swallow. Law. Right. It amazes me the people that can't read on Twitter. It amazes me. It amazes me people can't understand hyperbole and can't understand hindsight and can't understand satire. It just it blew me away. I, I, I think we had someone say, I'm, un, I'm unfollowing you. I'm like, well, that's too bad. You should have unfollowed us earlier because we've been ragging on Ronnie for 18 months. Oh, that's okay. I don't. I don't watch. I don't listen to the show. Oh, that's too bad. I thought I, we, we had someone. We had someone listening. Never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so it was. It was. It was. It was an interesting conversation. It went on for quite a while. I think someone said our podcast is shit. I mean, they're not wrong. No, of course not. What am I supposed to say? No, you're right. Come on, we're just stupid Americans. And, or actually, take that back. With Paul, we're just stupid North Americans now. <laughs> but do you not understand? I mean, it, it, people are just like, how, did you not want us to win the trouble? Do, Rev, you go back to when that happened. Were any of us mm. happy that, that, that we lost that game? Absolutely not. We no. were, I don't, I don't want to say the lowest we've ever been low, but I mean, we're all together. I think, you know, we don't get to watch games with each other very often. It, it's once a year, if that. And we were all piss and vinegar and not happy at all. And, you know, not on the ledge, but, you know, it was not a good day. It was not a good day at all. No, it was not. No one was happy. No one was happy. I don't think anyone was happy. No one wanted. I didn't want to lose that game. How, how, and how, you must have wanted us to lose. No. How fucking stupid can you be? No one wants us to lose. What happened was, looking at what Ronnie said, of course, if, the, if listen, I'm, if, if Ronnie's willing to say, hey, you know what? If we had won that game, I'd still be here. I, don't want, I, didn't, I didn't want him here, looking back. And, it's, and that's me saying this the same thing. The same exact thing. Me looking at it going, oh, well, you know what? What's interesting is I can't, 
I, 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 I can't say what I want to say, meaning, meaning me as the, as, as the person on Twitter saying what I want to say. Meanwhile, I'm looking at it from today, looking back, not that day going, oh, shit, I can't believe. I'm so glad that we lost that game because that helped Dyla get out. No, that's not what the fuck happened. If Dyla says, oh, yeah, I, I'd still be there, I'm willing to, you know, if that was the case and it worked out the way it is, then yes, we should be happy that Meeking did what he did. If because that would mean that we wouldn't have, we wouldn't be where we are. It was just come on, think for a second. Right. It's like say, someone saying, "I didn't want my ex girlfriend on me with my best friend." But I'm so glad I did it before I married her. Right. But she did. I got to meet this other person who now I'm married to, and it's way better than that person. And my old friend who broke up with that girl later, I became friends with because he helped me out. <laughs> now, that one may be a stretch. And, I, and that's probably, and you know what, Rev, going through that scenario, and th- I thought about that scenario, that's probably one of the reasons why people didn't like the tweet. And if you put it in that way, well, you know, I had a girlfriend. She cheated on me with, this, with my best friend. I broke up with her. And then I married this other woman. She was wonderful. The guy broke up with the other girl. Can I take him back as a friend? You know, can I can I look at what happened and be that? That's kind of close. But I have to look at the meeting thing and go. You know what? Yeah, it was painful. But you know what? Thank you. Looking back now, thank you, thank you. Did I want to lose that? No. But you know what? Thank you because that's another nail in the coffin to get rid of that fucking guy. And I'm glad. Get out. And if. And if people think that um, that it's one of those it's one of those situations where it's like oh you know how awesome you know you're so you're so mean and you should give him respect and everything else come on how many how many tweets did we see on Twitter after Cal McGregor missed uh, missed the sitter against uh, Munchen Gladbach that he was you know, what can we expect from someone who was a Hun supporter that rat faced Hun how many how many of those did we see please. And then all of a sudden today, he's fucking awesome. Like, your opinions don't fucking change. Craig Gordon, oh my God. Craig Gordon's the worst thing ever. Now he's, you know, he's back playing international football again. James Forrest, God, dear God, please. Injured all the time. He's this, he's that. Now, oh my, you know what? That's not bad. He's back to being the person he is. Stuart Armstrong. How many people want to get rid of Stuart Armstrong last year? Everybody, pretty much. Thank you. And what happened? Put him where he's supposed to fucking play, and what happened? National team, isn't it? Th- yes, thank you. Now all of a sudden we want to keep him. Everyone wants to keep him. Please stop this this fucking fake rage over what we talked about with Josh, Josh Me. It just it just is. I'm happy. Uh, listen, looking back now, I'm glad it went down the way it went. He helped us. He helped us. It's called there's, fucking hindsight. There's right. There's a difference between wanting to sabotage in the moment and being glad it's going poorly in the moment and stuff. And then after the fact, months, years down the road, whatever, saying like, you know what, what shitty stuff was happening then was worth it because of how awesome stuff is right now. That's Thank all. You. That's all. Hindsight, hyperbole, trying to be over the top. No, yeah. do I do I really yeah. think Josh Meekings will be a Celtic Celtic a legend one day like like Larson? No, no, don't be fucking stupid. But what I'm saying is, come on. If he, if that had happened, we 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 have a trouble. If that happened, we'd have trouble. Would we be happy we had trouble? Yes. Would we still be with Ronnie? Right. He'll go. Oh well, Ronnie would have been gone anyway. Well, that's not the point. Ronnie doesn't think that. Why do you think he still fucking be here? You know, to, to put it another way, like, I'm sure when, you know, the Huns went through all their shit in 2012, they probably had that thought of, you know, well, we're going through all this crap now, but it will be worth it once we get back and we're going to be dominant and we're going to be this and that. They haven't reach that they're still in their you know terrible rock bottom times and everything and who knows if and whenever they're going to get out of it you know hey listen how many people how many people really thought bruni was done after last year (sighs) 
Mm-hmm. I didn't think he was going to be playing at this level. Mm-hmm. Not, not at all. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, I know. So, can you look at different things and go, oh, well, you know what? I wonder why that was. Does your opinion change over time? Yes. It's called hindsight. And people are, 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 are and, you know, I say this about myself, like, I'm wrong. I, I never say that I'm, you know, 100% right and infallible and everything like that. Like, you know, I, I like, especially when there's stuff going on and uh, it's, you know, negative stuff. I want to be wrong. Um, so it's like, yeah, something like that. Like, you know, I, people can change their minds and, and their opinions and stuff. I mean, kind of sucks when you go from one drastic thing to another, but like, you know, it's okay to, to be wrong. Like, you know, just, yeah, have opinions and, and change your, change your mind. Of course. Listen, mind, like, yeah. Kind of flip flopping. That's a little different. Yeah. Flip flop, but it's, this, it's the same. I mean, what I'm saying is looking at hindsight, you could say, Oh, you know what? I was wrong about that. Right. Right. The, the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole essence of the argument changes. Like someone said, Oh, that was, that's harsh. He was robbed. Yeah, in addition to being robbed, Ronnie was pish. Of course he was. Well, it, it doesn't take away from the fact that the ref didn't see it. I know the Celtic were robbed. I get that. But Ronnie still thinks he'd be here. No thanks. Rather win the treble than slag Ronnie Dyla. Really? Now, now that's, that's a good question, right? If it had changed, would we be where we are now? Doubtful. You know, would we have, you know, if he would have won the treble in his first year, you know, he probably wouldn't have gotten the boot after last year, um, even if it went down, Eggs. you know, much in the same way. Uh, so he'd probably still be here this year, meaning this year obviously wouldn't have gone down the same way. But, you know, we'd yeah, it's, let's say we still, yes. you know, we'd still, for sake of argument, say we still won the league, but that's all we did this year, and say he just pushed it back, you know. Let's just say uh, last year's result and the, the way everything went down happened this year instead. You know, so then next year happens. I don't still think we go after Brendan Rodgers. Maybe maybe we get somebody else. No, the timing's all wrong. Another, right? We yeah, get the another wrong. Ronnie Dyla level. Oh manager. Jesus Christ! Or someone worse. We end up right. with we end up While, with Malky McKay or some bullshit. <laughs> While Brendan Rodgers is over at like Swansea or something, you know, and and yeah, we're left with Pedro. <laughs> exactly. So this way, pathetic stuff. I go, yeah, agreed. Could you imagine if Ronnie had stayed at Celtic? Can you imagine a Celtic supporter hitting out shit about Meekings? You're a joke, mate. Don't you fucking get it? Are you an adult? Do you not understand these things? This guy, Chris, what the fuck is wrong with you, dumbass? And then he goes in and responds, you, you, could, you shouldn't, you're obviously not listening to our podcast, right? You're kid, calling me a kid on supporter. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because I don't think like you, um, um, you know, I'm a kid on supporter. Okay. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Got it. Okay, got it. Because you fucking totally understand hyperbole in hindsight. Got it. Ronnie said if the pen had been given, he'd still be in charge. Everyone gets it, man. Other people got it. And someone said, oh, Desmond got, you know, got rid of Ronnie because of the whole Sevco Rangers thing and his board. I get that. I know that's the story. But Ronnie still believes he'd still be here. Doesn't, people don't read. I don't understand how people don't read. It's just ridiculous. An absolute, absolute ridiculous. Is it ridiculous to really make that comment? Do you think it's that ridiculous? I mean, it sucks that we're even, you know, kind of... One and, and just even talking about Ronnie Dyla, you know, like to to its own extent, like it sucks we're even talking about it. Two, it sucks even more that we're arguing about it. Like, yeah. You know, and by the way, Uber Scott sixty seven SM. Yeah, he gets. It. He's like, I think it's a badly construed joke. Uh, fine, whatever. If you listen to the pod, you know they're just like for Ronnie, but surely can't be a serious comment. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all about. Him saying stupid stuff. And for people slagging, let me explain something to you about Ronnie. This will be, let me give you a couple of things that Ronnie said. Okay, A couple of weeks ago, he made the comment, you know, I sold Brendan Rodgers on the Celtic job. Right. You know what he said this week? What? 
He said, Brendan Rodgers may not remember me. I was once at Liverpool on a, on a fact-finding mission. When? What? Back when he was back when he was a manager in Norway, he went to he went to Liverpool to go watch training and whatever. He said Brendan may and not remember me, but I was at one of those events. And he said, "Hey, I'm a manager at Norway. You should get the Celtic job." <laughs> like is that is that what it happened? No, he said he sold Brendan on the job after when after he left. Oh, like he continued, like contact with him and then yeah. after he left Celtic then oh, okay okay yeah stupid yeah, whatever I mean uh, he's Ronnie Dyla we're two down one to go exactly I just I just you know you gotta go back you can listen to it all you want people don't get it man it's like they think that I was saying that I was happy that it happened. No, 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 no. So someone goes, being happy your team was robbed of a trouble. Get rid of a manager is a fucking is is fucking pathetic. To get rid of a manager is fucking pathetic. No, no, no. I wasn't happy it happened that day. But I will tell you this, and I guarantee this. I'm done with this fucking piece of paper. How many people on Twitter? And I went back and I looked, and I saw at least ten or fifteen tweets of people in my timeline. How many people were not happy that they had lost to Sevco in the semifinal, but extremely relieved that it happened, and now they could move on from this FUD? Yeah, like, you know, you mean like at, at that time, like that day? Yes, and no, not not at. The, I mean, at like. After the final whistle, we wanted to win, wanted to win, wanted to win. The last penalty kick goes over the bar. We lose. You look down, you go, thank God, now we can fucking finally get rid of him. Right, right, right. Was that not the point of our podcast, the entire the, 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 the entire show afterwards? Every one of us. But Every, you know, I went back I, and I listened. Knowing us and knowing everything, that's yeah, that probably would have been it. Like this, the writing on the wall. And, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because I remember the ones after that was it's only a matter of time. Yes. It's just a matter of if he's going to fall on his sword and leave beforehand. And, Correct. You know. Yeah. 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 Correct. Exactly. Exactly, exactly correct. Half the people, and, and by the way, not 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 to say anything else. For all the people that hated my comment, where were all you people when you know one of the half the half the stand was closed with a with a banner over it? Where were the season ticket holders? Come on, I mean, come on. You weren't happy either. You weren't happy either, and you still and the, no one would and no one would be there. You think we'd have sold out right now against Motherwell if if Ronnie was still manager? No. The only the only person I think that gets to argue you to the death about this is the guy who got the until Ronnie I was never happy tattoo. No. That's the only <laughs> guy. <laughs> He's the only one who could say anything to me. Yep. <laughs> you think? Which I want to like get like you know an update on that guy. And yeah, I wonder where you are. Where, where are you? Yeah. I wonder if he's turned it into. I've never been happy since. I met Rhonda. <laughs> Until Rhonda, I was never happy. Oh, shit. Until Rachel. Until <laughs> whatever. Until something. But come on, really? I mean, it, it, it happened all over the place. It happened all over the place. It, it's like people just forget. They, for, they forget. Yes, we had lost the Rangers. 
or divert this this reincarnation of them. And at the end, it was like, okay, good. Now we can, me, let me ask a question. When the Yankees finally fired, like fired Buck Showalter and hired Joe Torre, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that was hard to take. They had made the playoffs. Yeah. Looking back after I four like World Buck Series Showalter. championships. I was okay with it. Yes, exactly. Very okay. Yeah, losing in the playoffs. What I'd like to have Buck Showalter, the Yankee manager for the next 10 years of Derek Jeter, while the team basically loses in the first or second round of the playoffs every year? Or do I want Joe Torre to win the next four or five rings? Right. Four rings. I don't, I, I, yeah, 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 people don't understand. But Ronnie, Ronnie literally is out to lunch, and he continues to be out to lunch. The more, the more, you know, saying I talk shit. Holy shit. I sold Brendan the job, and two weeks later, I don't even know if you'll remember me. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? Anyway, so, listen, if I can't talk about Stokes anymore, and don't think he's getting away without being mentioned on this show, after what Bry set to me the other day because we haven't had a chance to talk about it uh anthony i I have a a message for anthony anthony please we all know your da hates the queen i love you because of that but do me a favor brother please get back to playing football just get back just i don't want to say put your head down and focus on playing football (laughs) the story is a little fishy I don't know if I totally believe the video. It was a little muffled. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <shit. laughs> but please, please, get back to playing football and scoring goals. Please. That's my PSA for Anthony Stokes. Moment of silence. Okay, done. <sighs> Sad, 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 sad. Anyway, so, um, and by the way, yes, and by wherever you're 100 percent correct, we do suck. The podcast is shit. It is. We hold the record as the most unprepared anything for Hail Hell Media. That's a, it's fine. And you know what? If we have a tagline, that's what it is. Exactly. I think I think the bullshit line would be if we tried to argue the people that we actually knew what was going on in football. I think that's where people would be upset. Speaking, I think every every week we have to at least make one or two, and as far as I know, we have not not done it. We yeah, have today. to make at least like one baseball reference in order to make our point. <laughs> That we're trying to get across. We have to reference baseball in order to just say what we're trying to say. Yes, you have to reference baseball. It's exactly what it is. It's 100% true. 100% true. So, anyway. So, I understand uh, it's uh, we have an hour and 15 minutes. I need to pack. I have a, tra- a trip tomorrow. I'm in the airport again. I just got back from a trip uh, yesterday. I'm leaving on the, on the airplane tomorrow again, so i got to go and pack or get, get in the room and pack, um, which leads us to gives me uh, an hour and 13 minutes until Better Call Saul. Mm-hmm. Do you have any Better Call Saul uh, stories to tell us? Uh, Not really. Do I? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Um, so if you guys are Breaking Bad fans, real quick, just before we go. Yeah. Go ahead, Rev. Um, well, okay. Well, it, I don't know how it's going to go down just yet since, like, everything, if, 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 if anything, I've been stuck in for a while. But you got contacted so, by somebody. Yeah. Uh, so over, was it last, like, Thursday, I was at my doctor's office, and it was, uh, you know, they, they do, like, the, um, like, for Walking Dead fans, you know, it's, like, the after show, like, Talking Dead. And then since that kind of got popular, so they did that, like, Talking Bad and then Talking Saul. So they end up, you know, the guy Chris Hardwick, they just gave him his own show and it's just talking now. And it's more of like the late night kind of talk show thing. Um, so I was at my doctor's office. I was, you know, going through Instagram. And they're just like, oh, if you can, they made a post. Like, if you can ask uh, Brian Cranston 
one question, what would it be? I just, you know, made a sarcastic, you know, kind of question thing about a, an old TV show. And, uh, like, later on that night, they sent me the message. They're like, oh, that's really great. If you want to, you know, comment and ask them, like, that's cool. And I'm like, bullshit. Like, no way. So, yeah, so, like, uh, Friday afternoon, I ended up uh, Skyping with, uh, you know, a producer from the show. Um, did, uh, like, four questions. Um, the guy that I talked to, um, there's the one question that he really wants to get because he was a fan of that show, too. So it's not a Breaking Bad question or anything, but still, it, it is Brian Cranston. Um, <laughs> That's so, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so, and it, but it's pre-recorded. I thought it would be live or something like that, but it's not um, because they didn't actually record the show or anything like that. Um, I th- thought it would have been like, because the, the show that they do, they put it out on Sundays at, you know, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern. Um, but I guess they just record a whole bunch ahead of time because um, the one that comes out uh, this Sunday, or, or uh, that just came out yesterday, rather, mm-hmm. um, they did, like, at the end of March. So it's it's all done, like, a, a month ahead of time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I, I did the whole stuff. So he's just like, yeah, you know, we'll let you know. Um, you know, if we end up using it, but I'd like sign all these release forms and stuff to be on TV and shit. So it was kind of cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. So if anything happens, I'll, I'll end up, uh, I have this like suspicion you'll be wearing a, 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 a top with stripes on it. It's solid green. I didn't have enough time to, to, oh. yeah. I thought, yeah, <laughs> I kind of got, uh, cause I didn't think, I thought he was just Skyping to just talk and, like, interview me kind of thing, to, like, make sure I'm good enough to be... Oh, but he actually got it. it. Yeah, because I've seen those before where they do the Skype stuff. Yeah, they bring people on and put play the clip of the, of the right. Skype question. Yeah. Make it seem like, like, like you're actually talking Friday to him. Afternoon. Yeah. Right. I, and so I'm just like, I didn't, like a second, it's a, it's a, a live, you know, studio, you know, studio audience show. So I just thought he was just going to call and just talk to me. And then he's just, you know, talking. He's just like, yeah, so whenever you're ready. I was like, oh, we're doing it now? Shit. So I, I would have, like, shaved him stuff first and, <laughs> and all this stuff. Um, so I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to grab, uh, I would have grabbed hoops, but I just had um, last year's away top. There you I go. Had that actually all there the way on. So I was like, that's good enough. There you go. You can, you can as long as they don't cut it, like, you know. Yeah, they could do that too. Yeah, 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 exactly. They just go ahead and, and crop you, it in. It, it, so, so yeah, the question, so, green, so there's possible, right. it's possible you could that question could be used to to ask Brian Cranston a question. Yeah, that's cool. There you go. That's awesome. But, man. And yeah, you'll you'll see like if if like the way I held the thing because they're like, oh, you can't have. I was in my bedroom. I've got like you know, posters and stuff. And they're like, oh, nothing. Uh, like a Guinness thing in the back. I'm like nothing like copyrighted because that's you know. Yeah, they got to pay for that. Yeah, yeah. Be, you got to right. make it look like you're so, holding someone for ransom with a black wall behind you. <laughs> right. So like I the held old Celtic TV. Uh, uh... <laughs> yeah. So, like I held my my phone like just up at the crest, so you don't see the New Balance logo, but you just see the top where it just says like you know uh, like football. There like, you go. Celtic football club. Oh yeah. Just barely the top, and so you you know you'll you'll know it's a Celtic jersey definitely. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Awesome, man. That's cool. So, anyway, dude, you, you got me beat this week. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. All right, so we're ninety minutes in. It's, it gives me an hour to pack before I get on my uh, get my plane going. And uh, you are, what are you doing for Saturday? So game Saturday. Oh, you know what? We have to give me a. We don't know if we're gonna have a, a Bruni or not. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, do a quick uh, team for the weekend. To face uh, uh, Sevco Rangers, Gordon, um, Lustig, I guess Boyata, Semenovich, Tierney, um, yeah, the you know Armstrong in there, um, whoever is other midfield pairing would be that's you know that'd be tricky. Um, Sinclair on the left. Um, I'm say it's probably going to be Griffith starting up top. Yeah. Even if Dembele yeah. healthy, just start Griffith up top, just not to don't take any chances. Um, 
probably Forest on the right. Hmm. Probably. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, I, I would go with two changes. Okay. I would go with two changes. Only two changes. I would say, instead of Lustig, I would probably go with... Uh, what's his Gamboa. face? Yeah. Gamboa. And then in the middle, I don't know if he goes with McGregor where Bruni would be and then put Rogic in the hole. Yeah, that's tough. I think that's what he does. So for me, Gordon, Gamboa, Boyata, Simonovic, Tierney, Armstrong, McGregor in place of Bruni. Bruni or McGregor, depending on what happens. 80% McGregor. Mm, yeah. Rogic, Forrest, Griff, Sinclair. Because you can go Forrest or Patty. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to do something like they did, um, like, you know, in preparation for this game, training with 10 men. Yeah. You saw that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, you know, someone someone made the comment last week, and maybe maybe the reason why they're playing with three at the back is because they want to see what, what it's like playing with ten men. You know, what it's like would be like that way. I don't know. Maybe, but I, 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 if not, then Rogic's there. If if it's not McGregor, I mean, he seems to like the way McGregor's playing. Then you're looking at Bruni or Baton, maybe. But I think he go. I think he. I think he goes with Rogic in that hole because uh, Rogic's going to have two weeks of two and a half weeks of training, and then Forrest, Griff, Sinclair, and you can switch out Patty for Forrest if you want to. Which, you know what? Not that I want to dwell on this, but this game is so much easier to pick a starting lineup compared to when Ronnie was here. I digress. Anyway. Because if not, we'd have to pick fucking balls out of a goddamn hat and see what happened. <laughs> anyway, so um, that, uh, give me a score for the weekend. Two one. Us. Two one. Two one. Us. Yeah. Do you think we broke their? Griffith. Do you think we broke their? Uh, no, okay. You think we've broken their 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 uh, resolve? For the most part. <clears throat> like I said, they don't have anything to play for except for pride, um, which really. Is, that too it's not really a whole lot but uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, anger and venom and you watch out for 30 studs up challenges and a lot of that especially at home mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah do you know who's got the referee? I don't know who's got the whistle for this which uh, which uh, which Mason has the whistle I don't know do you know no I don't know either I don't know either oh well We'll figure it out. We'll find out. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go with a uh, with a three one this time. I think I think uh, I'm going to go three one and a Griff hat trick. Nice. Only That'd because be I don't know good. anyone else who would enjoy it more than him, except for Bruni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, that wouldn't be bad. I, I have to. I don't know if anyone knows. Tweet us out. Let us know. I, I'm just curious if anyone knows if there is. If have we have in we're going to play them what five times this year? Four, five, six, seven times. Six, six at least. Three in the three, four, five, six times. Uh, five wins and a draw. Is is that? I mean, have, has any team ever been swept? Good question. I don't think so. I doubt it. Is that is that a is a sixteen points out of a possible eighteen? Is is that a? I, I know cup games don't count as points, but I mean, right? Is that a max? Is that is that like a record? Just curious. I, I mean, don't know. maybe in the you know ten in a row years, or maybe in like sixty seven or something back then, maybe they could have done it. <laughs> Six that says, 
Uh, come on, Griff is from fucking Edinburgh. Yeah, but he still hates the Huns. He still hates the Huns. And their diet cousins. We'll just leave it at that. Six times. What, Alistair, what do you mean six times? Six times is the most wins? Six out of six? Did someone oh, go six yeah. out of six? I think Alistair is going to type out in a second here. That's crazy. Amazing, 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 amazing. I don't know the answer to that, so I have to look that up. We'll talk about it next time. Hopefully, next weekend, we'll be able to go ahead and talk about it because I'll, uh, I'll be back for my trip on Friday. I'll be back Saturday. So, um, Rev, right on 100 minutes. Good time as always. Good time as always. I'm glad we got a chance to go ahead and uh, read out. Uh, oh, there you go. In 2004, beat the Huns five times in a season. Was that five out of five? That's the question. Wow. Five out of five. Green and whitewash. There you go. So, yeah, five out of five. Six right. games. Nice, nice. There you go. Pound to a penny, Bobby Madhun. There you go, Al. So that's who's going to be the ref. That's what he says has the... the, the uh, who is? Uh, Alice just says, pound to a penny, it's Bobby Madhun. Uh, probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway... All right, brother. I'm out of here because we all know the only – this has to be our official outro song. The only way that they don't win the treble is because of record seven in a row. Wow. Amazing. Someone had seven in a row. Wow. Amazing. So the only thing, the only thing they can beat us at is blowing the whistle because the only people that can take it away from us – as Alistair says, Bobby Mad Hun. So, thanks everyone. Take care. Hello. Have a great weekend. And, uh, God bless Brendan Rogers. Hello.
Cheers. Careful now.